Hello friends, welcome to Best Tutor. Today we are going to learn about the structure of a bisexual flower. So when we see the structure of a flower, it is divided into four whorls or four floral parts. Now the first floral part is known as calyx, second is known as corolla, third is known as andrisium, four is known as ganesium. Let us see by observing the diagram of a flower. So each flower if you examine, it has a stalk we call this stalk as pedicel or stalk of a flower. Now this tip of the pedicel gets expanded to form structure known as thalamus. So this is known as thalamus or receptacle. So this is an expanded part of a pedicel of a flower. Now this thalamus is the one which is going to bear all the four floral parts of a flower. Now first floral part is known as this part which is always green in color though I have drawn with the blue it doesn't mean they will be blue in color. Those are sepals which are collectively known as calyx. So the sepals, the green, color, green colored parts which we observe in a flower structure, those are commonly we call them as sepals and all the sepals form the whorl known as calyx, the first part of a flower. Now after this calyx, we have second whorl that is known as the petals which are all collectively known as corolla. So the, all the sepals are known as calyx and the petals collectively known as corolla which is the second whorl of a flower. The next we have the two important reproductive parts of a flower known as andrisium and ganesium. Now let us see how andrisium looks. Now the third whorl is known as andrisium. Now andrisium will have structures known as stamens, they are long filament like structures. Now if you observe the stamens where you see a long filament like structure, this part the thread like part is known as filament and each filament at the top they were a bilobed structure known as anther. Right, students. So we have here. I'm drawing only four stamens, where you can see they have a long thread-like structure known as filament, and each filament will bear a bilobed anther. So these are anthers. So these stamens collectively known as androecium. All the stamens collectively known as androecium. The next, another next reproductive part that is known as female reproductive part. So andrasium is known as male reproductive part of a flower and ganesium is the female reproductive part of a flower. Right. Now if you examine the ganesium, it has at the basal part, it has ovary and then we have a long filament like structure known as style and the style at the tip bears a knob like structure known as stigma. So the gynesium is divided into three parts. It has a knob like structure at the top known as stigma, then a long tube like structure known as style and at the base we have ovary. Now this entire structure we call it as carpel like Male parts were known as stamens, the female parts are known as carpels and all the carpels here I have only drawn one carpel but you may have more than one carpel in different flowers. So all the carpels togetherly they are known as gynesium, uh, the other name for gynesium is pistil, it is also known as 
pistil of a flower. So now we have observed four main whorls or parts of a flower. The first part is called calyx. Calyx is nothing but the green colored part of a flower known as sepals. So the sepals usually they will be green in color because they have to perform the process of photosynthesis which helps to produce food for the growth of the floral parts. Then next, next to the sepals is known as petals which we call them as corolla. Now petals are the bright colored one which help to attract insects for the next process known as pollination. Then next we have the two important reproductive parts of a flower, androecium, gynoecium. If we examine the androecium, they are filamentous structures where the long thread like structure will bear a bilobed structure known as anthers. Then these stamens collectively known as androecium and they are known as the male parts of the flower. Then next we have gynoecium, the female reproductive part of a flower and here if you examine it has a knob like structure at the top known as stigma connected to a filament tube known as style which has ovary at the base. These are three main parts of the gynoecium female part and it is also known as pistil. In general we call them as carpels, all the carpels togetherly form the gynoecium. So this is the major structure of a flower. And I said it is a bisexual flower because it has both the male and female reproductive parts. Whenever a flower has both male and female reproductive parts, then it will be considered as a bisexual flower. A good example we can give about rose, uh, hibiscus. Then some flowers, they have only one part. Either they may have the male part androecium or female part, part gynoecium. For example, we have papaya palm. So, if you examine their flowers, they may be having either male part or female part. Such flowers are known as unisexual flowers. The meaning uni means one and sexual means one reproductive part. So, unisexual flowers are example papaya. So, now we have learnt about the structure of bisexual flower. Thank you.